NBC Sports presents NCAA College Football. The Battle of Michigan, the university's Wolverine against Michigan State's Spartan. And we're at Spartan Stadium in East Lansing. We've got 32 consecutive sellouts for this matchup between the Wolverines and the Spartans and this ABC Sports Exclusive is brought to you by Chevrolet, who invites you to come in and see the all-new 1980 Chevrolets at your Chevy dealers October 11th. And Bo Schimbeckler, the head coach. We're going to be seeing two of the best kick return people in the country today, Derek Hughes of Michigan State and Anthony Carter of Michigan. Hughes second in the nation in kickoff returns, averaging better than 38 yards. Carter is tied for third in punt returns, averaging 18 yards. Now let's go down to the flip of the coin at the center of the field. He calls, and ahead to this. You won the toss, you can take the football or a goal. You want to receive? Which goal do you want to defend? The south goal. The south goal, and you're down there. All right, turn around. Referee Gene Calhoun with a flip of the coin and the team captains Ron Simpkins and John R. Besnick for Michigan, Michigan State, Dan Bass and Mark Bramer. And number 42, Hughes, has brought back one kickoff. So this is a new slant for Mr. Hughes. Usually in the previous four games at Michigan State is 3-1. and one. They're 1-0 one and oh in the Big Ten. Ali is all set for Gene Calhoun, the referee. And we will have the 1972 Michigan, Michigan State kickoff goes into the record book. Ali kicks and overran deep down into the end zone. It'll be an automatic touchback. Good old Ali, non-returnable that time. Smith touched it down, automatic touchback. So check in Burt Vaughn, number 15. He sets his team. Wide to the left is Howard. Wide to the right down here is Burt. It's the I formation, Smith deep and Middleton close. It's Burt Vaughn under center, first and 10 on the Michigan State 20 yard line. There's a handoff this time to Smith. He's hit right there at the 21, and he's piled up. Smith coming into the ball game and likes the pigskin for the Spartans. Wide to the right this time, we see it's number 84. That's Bird. Wide to the left is Howard. Bird Vaughn sets his team. It's second and nine at his own 21 yard line. The first series of downs following the opening kickoff. There's a handoff this time to Hughes. Hughes is to the 25, and he gets about four yards on the play. The first third down situation of the ball game, and it belongs to the green and white. The split backs are Smith and Shreya. Wide to the left is Howard. Wide to the right is Bird. There is, there is Vaughn back. A swing pass out here to Hughes at the 20. He's up to 25. First down, 31-yard line, Andy Schramm, who had caught three passes coming into the ball game. A screen pass out in the right flat. Beautifully thrown, equally well caught. Bird Vaughn sets his team. First and 10 on his own 31-yard line, 18 yards in from this, the western sideline. Hughes deep, Middleton close. Hughes takes, follows Middleton up over the 31, 32, and that's where he's piled up in there by Needham, Greer, Kites, and Godfrey. Michigan's front five right now. It brings up second and eight on the 34-yard line. The tailback is Smith. The fullback. Delayed handoff to Smith. He's being chased by Canavino. And he's going to run. He's up over the 35. He gets to the 37-yard line, picking up about three yards on the play. Burt Vaughn, who's coming into the game, had a net running yardage of minus 21 in nine carries. Carries for the first time this afternoon. Wide to the right this time is Bird. Wide to the left is Howard. Hughes deep, Shram close. Burt Vaughn, the quarterback, under center. He looks over the Michigan front five. He's back for a pass. He has plenty of time. He throws downfield and it's dropped. Incomplete. Shram, the same passing combination that picked up a first down a few moments ago. Failed that time. Shram couldn't hold the pass. Michigan not being able to do much here deep in their own territory. But Michigan State is fired up. It's a home game. They're coming off a dismal loss to Notre Dame a week ago when they were turned every way but loose. 27-3. Michigan, meanwhile, scraped one by California. 14-10. B.J. Dickey sets his team now. He has it second and eight. There is the handoff this time to the tailback, and he's hit right in there. Edwards is hit at the uh, about the nine-yard line. Wide to the left is Clayton. Two tight ends, a balanced line. Edwards deep, Reed close. There's B.J. going out to the right, and he pitches off to Edwards down the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and he's not got about a beautiful running there by 
by Sam Edwards, and he can move the 40 in about four or five, and he looks like he might do it right there as he pulled away. And London, did you pick up a block in there? Well, I didn't pick up the block, Bob, but what I did pick up was Dickey ran that option exceptionally well and went to the last minute, drew the men to him, flipped the ball to Edwards, and it was just a great option run on the part of Dickey. It sure was. Old Dickey, he loves to run, but he knew that time he sucked them in. They knew he liked to run, and they pulled in on Dickey, and he pitched off. Fine observation, Lindo. Wide to the right goes Mitchell, along with Clayton. It's Edwards deep and Reed close. B.J. Dickey with plenty of running room. First and 10 from his own 34-yard line. He hands off to the fullback, Reed, and he's up through the right side behind Becker and Lilja for about four and a half yards to the 39. Okay, second and five. The ball resting 18 yards in from the eastern sideline. It's second down and 10 on the 45. There is B.J. rolling out to the right. He pitches off to Edwards down to 45 over the 50. Down to 45. It's another first down at the 42-yard line. Edwards coming around the left side of that offensive line. The pulling guard of Besnick throwing a block. Reed moved in there and threw a block on the linebacker. And Michigan has moved the ball well on this drive. All the way from their own three-and-a-half-yard line. Wide to the right is Mitchell. Wide to the left is Clayton. It's Edwards deep and Reed close. And B.J. Dickey looking at a five-man front. Pitches off this time to Edwards. He fakes the throw back. Edwards the hurdles one man down the 40, down the 35, down the 30. And there's a flag on the play. And that looks like usually a face mask against somebody down there. Jimmy Yanichek, the spotter for State here, said it was a face mask. Usually when there's a play like that, it's a clipping penalty. But Jim, he's a very astute. Yes, sir, that's a face mask from the 33. That'll move it down to the 18. Wolfuck averaging four and a half yards a carry against four opponents. Two tight ends and a balanced line. B.J. Dickey looks at a five-man front of Michigan State. And he hands off to Wolfhawk. He gets a block. He cuts it to 15. Down to the 10. Down to the 9-yard line. As Wolfhawk lining up back on about the 17. Cut over the 15. Cut it to 12. Over the 10. Dropped at the 9-yard line by Danny Bass along with Mark Anderson. Two against Northwestern. And right now, two wide outs. Clayton at the slot. Carter wide out. Wolfhawk deep. Wolfhawk takes. He's hit to 5-4-3. And he's hit right there at the three-yard line. And Butch Wolfhawk grabbing in there like a bull with a B in his ear. Picking up blocks up front from our Besnick, Lilja, and Reed up there isolating on that linebacker. Two yards away from a first down. Four yards away from the first score in the ball game. Up over the ball comes Lilja. The line follows two tight ends in a balanced line. Wide to the left is Clayton. It's Wolfhawk deep and Reed close. It's B.J. Dickey under center at the four-yard line. B.J. rolling out. He cuts in, and he's hit right there at the two. He may have picked up the first down. He needed two for the first down, four for the touchdown. And now the referee, Mr. Calhoun, is digging into the pile. And Michigan, though, an official timeout to see whether or not B.J. Dickey on third and two picked up a first down. He did. It's first and goal at the Michigan State two-yard line. As up the over the ball comes Lilja. The line follows. Mitchell wide out to the left. Two tight ends in a balanced line. Wolf hook deep and Reed close. B.J. Dickey under center. On a long count from center, B.J. Dickey takes the ball. He rolls out to the right. He pitches off to Wolfock, and he's going to be hit. No, sir. Wolfock scores. Butch Wolfock scores a first touchdown in the 1979 Michigan-Michigan State Classic. It is Butch Wolfock's third touchdown of 1979. The fifth on his career. He had two last year in 1978. He had two coming into the game here today. And he just climaxed a 96 and a half yard drive by Michigan. Michigan in 14 plays and Michigan is 14 out of 14 on extra points it will be Virgil number two who right now on extra points is 10 out of 10 kneeling is Tony Jackson if you hear the Bo Schumbeckler scoring horn in the background it'll mean that Michigan has a seven point lead it's snapped by Lilja it's spotted by Jackson it's kicked by Virgil and it is Michigan 7, Michigan State zip with a minute and three seconds remaining on the green and white scoreboard. It'll be Edwards deep and Reed close. The I formation, second and seven on their own 14-yard line. B.J. Dickey, two wide outs to the left, Clayton and Mitchell. B.J. pitches off to Edwards. He gets a block. He's over the 15 and is tripped at the 18-yard line. The tailback is Edwards. Tony Carter is in wide to the left. And Clayton wide to the right. There is a fake handoff. There's a pass over the center, and it's good for a first down to the tailback, Edwards, and Edwards is dropped at the 30-25-yard line They have with Carter and Clayton. Carter coming wide to the right. Clayton wide to the left. The split backs, Edwards and Smith, will block for Dickey on this third and six. B.J. Dickey looking at a 5-4-2, and B.J. now throwing way over the head of the intended receiver, Clayton. 
Boy, that was poorly thrown way over his head. It brings up fourth down and six. Standing back, of course, for Michigan is Brian Virgil on his own 16-yard line. The point of scrimmage is a 29. There it is, almost blocked. It is blocked. And Michigan State recovers on the 17-yard line. A repeat of last week as Brian Virgil's punt is blocked and the Spartans have new life here. It's a game of emotions and the green and white daubers are up right now as Michigan has a punt block for the second week in a row. And if Bo Schembechler was chagrined a week ago, he's got to be doubly chagrined right now. The ball rests at the 16-yard line. Check in the Michigan State offense. Burt Vaughn at quarterback. Let's see who's at tailback. Steve Smith, Middleton. Go in the I formation. Smith deep, middle cornerback. Okay, Burt Vaughn sets his team. Smith deep, Middleton close. At the 16-yard line. There is a pass way over the head of the intended receiver. A quick pass after a turnover. Vaughn looks over a 5-2-4 defensive alignment. He's trailing in the ball game. So there's a fullback, and he's hit at the 14-yard line. On second down and 10, Andy Schramm averaging three and a half yards a carry. I don't believe picked up his average coming into the game on that particular play. He picked up about two yards. Bird Vaughn now. Wide to the left is Bird. Wide to the right is Howard. It's Smith deep and Schramm close. And Bird Vaughn looks over Michigan's five-man front. And then he hands off. He's faking. Now he's being hit. He fumbled the ball. And it's intercepted by Harden at the 15, the 20. Harden at the 25, the 30, the 35, the 40, and dropped at the 40-yard line. Mike Harden, who last week recovered two fumbles against California from his safety position, was the man who intercepted the pass after it was blocked in there. Edward Steep Smith close. Carter is deep on this eye. No, Sir Smith. There is the handoff to Edwards. He's up over the 45, the 48-yard line. The quick play. Remember I said a moment ago, Edwards deep and Smith close. B.J. Dickey back on first and 10. Taking his time. It's down complete to, the, to Edwards at the 38-yard line. The same pass that picked up a critical first down for Michigan earlier in this quarter has moved over the center. That is B.J. Dickey throwing down the center of Michigan State's defense. Carter goes in motion and watch Carter on a pass here. B.J. Dickey drops back now. He throws it out to Carter. Carter gets a block. He's down over the 20, or the 30. He's down to the 29-yard line. A new play just put in this week. Carter goes in motion from the right. And then across formation. B.J. Dickey drops back. Picks up blocks from Edwards and Smith. And Brian Ozzie Virgil, who in field goals is one out of four. He kicked one against Notre Dame. And this time, kneeling is Jackson at the 36. It'll be a 46-yard attempt. Liljes over the ball. If you hear the horn blow twice, you'll know it's good. It's short. It's short. It was straight enough, and it was right direction, but it was short. And Michigan State takes over on their own 29 over this, the Michigan Football Network. A big Inflation. halftime show coming up. Bob Foreman, the Michigan State Athletic Director, Joe Kearney. Both fans, a great show. Stay with us. The same spot in your radio dial over this, the Michigan 7, Michigan State Zip Football Network. And, uh, don't mention the other aspect of my football, will you? <laughs> you mean the kicking? You're, you're still concerned about it. No kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Now, wait a minute. Before you go, that drive, that 96-yard drive was a masterpiece. Yeah, it, we did a good job on that drive, and and uh, we should be moving more consistently than we are. we got to do a better job second half. Well, how about defense? Well, defense is good. They make the big plays. We put them in bad field position a couple times, and they pulled us out. But they've done that all year. Okay, good luck. It's Smith deep and Middleton close. Bert Vaughn under center. He looks at Michigan's 4-4-3 defensive alignment. And in a long count from center, he takes. He hands off to Smith, who needs one. He's broken to the 15 and dropped at the 14-yard line. A fine tackle made in there by Owens. Mel Owens playing a whale of a game. Hulk, as his teammates call him. Six and a half yards for the tying up touchdown. Bert Vaughn handing off to Hughes. Hughes gets the first down, and he gets into the end zone. Seven to six. 7-6 and look at the Spartans go wild and 79,000 partisan fans go equally wild up in the stands here the Double Deck Stadium across the way Double Deck on this side one deck at each end and the voice of Michigan State football goes dark raving bananas here B.J. Dickey Edwards deep Reed close Dickey at quarterback two wide outs to the right there's a handoff to Edwards around the left side he's up over the 20 Still trying to drive to the 23 and a half yard line, picking up three and a half yards on the play that they had by stopping State a moment ago. The Wolverines almost have to pick up a first down here. Two wide outs, Carter and Clayton. It's the I formation. Edwards deep and Smith close. Dickey now on the drop play, gives to Edwards. 
And I don't believe he's going to make it. He breaks the tackle and makes it to the 30-yard line. A great second effort by Stanley Everett. The whirling dervish, that great tailback junior from Kettering High School in Detroit. Eight, a minute and 26 seconds remaining in the third period. Edwards deep and Smitty close. There is B.J. back for a pass. He's going to the long bomb to Clayton. Clayton catches it at the 25, the 20, the 50. That's a victory. Touchdown, Ralph Clayton. Ralph Clayton electrifies the base of Blue Heart. And Mr. Clayton scores his first touchdown of 1979. Michigan climaxes. A touchdown drive of 80 yards going 66 yards on that pass play. That is the longest touchdown pass thrown by B.J. Dickey. And he'll never forget that when his Clayton danced out of the hands of a would-be safety man down there, Mr. Mark Anderson. And 80 yards in five plays. Tony Jackson is kneeling. Now you know what I said when it was so important that Stan Edwards pick up that first down on third and three. And he did that Kettering High School youngster wearing the maize and blue. And then BJ came back and threw that 66-yard bomb. Virgil is attempting the extra point. Lil just snaps the ball now. It's spotted by Jackson. It's kicked. It's end over end. And it's good. Michigan 14. Michigan State 7. Over this, the very maize and blue Michigan football network. Over the following seven years. Now it's 1979. Michigan State first and 10 on their own 20-yard line. Smith deep and Middleton close. They fake to Smitty. There's a pass out here, and it is complete to the 31-yard line. Complete down here to Bird, and he's dropped immediately down here. By number 16, Mike Jolly coming over. That's a first down. No, they wide to the left is Bird. Wide to the right is Williams. Bird Vaughn looks at a 5-2-4 defense by Michigan. They've been out there a lot, that defense. There it is. He can't find a receiver, and he throws now way downfield. And it's intercepted by Michigan at the 33-yard line. It's Stu Harris makes the first interception of his career that couldn't come at a better time for the maize and blue as Michigan has just picked up their third turnover of the ball game. A pass interception, a recovered fumble, and now another pass interception. Two wide outs to the right. Clayton, along with Mitchell. Wolf Oak deep and Reed close. There's B.J. back for a pass. He cocks his arm. He throws downfield. It's caught down there by Clayton at the midfield stripe. Clayton catches the ball at the midfield stripe, and he's dropped immediately. A beautiful reception by Ralph Clayton, and an equally well-thrown pass by B.J. Dickey on third and 11. That's what keeps the maze of blue rolling. With six minutes and ten seconds remaining here, the ball is at the 50-yard line. 18 yards in from that Michigan bench on the eastern sideline. Oh, Bo, George Patton, Jim Becker, and his troops are aroused right now. The maize and blue pride is a stake here. Wolf up deep and read close. There it is, B.J. He's going to pitch off to Wolfhawk around the right side. Wolfhawk over the 45. Dances his way to the 42-yard line. Picking up on the play about five or six yards. Boy, he moved down there. Lendo Wolfhawk looks fresh. He's moving. Two tight ends for B.J. Dickey. Third and two, a critical one. There is a pitch off to Wolfhawk. He needs two yards. Is he going to get him? He battles his way, and I don't know whether he got him or not. He had to move to the 40-yard line. They're claiming that he stepped out of bounds. If he didn't, he's just about two inches shy. He has Wolfhawk deep and read close. It's second and 11. It's a passing situation. He rolls out. He cocks his arm. He throws to Marsh down at the 25. Marsh is hit at the 20. Still on his feet at the 18-yard line. Doug Marsh brings the Michigan fans. There aren't many of them, but you can hear them in the background. And we aren't excited not one damn bit as Michigan maintains possession here. They have the ball 22 yards in from this, the western sideline, the Michigan State side of the field. Three minutes and 59 seconds remaining. The clock continues to wind. Michigan first and 10 on the 19-yard line. B.J. Dickey clutch pass again with 11 yards to go for the first down. He moved it into the hands of Marsh down to the Michigan State 19. It's Wolfhawk deep and Reed close, and B.J. Dickey pitches off to Wolfhawk. He gets one block. He goes around the end. He's down the 20. He cuts back into the 16-yard line, picking up three yards on the play. Two Try tight ends in the balance line. The eye formation, Wolfhawk deep in it. Full back, it's Rosie Smith, and B.J. is back. He rolls out to the right. B.J. is throwing the ball down. It's caught at the five, and he goes out of bounds at the five-yard line. And the man who caught it down there was Rosie Smith. He catches the ball for the first down, and Rosie Smith, who had only caught one pass so far this year, good for three yards, catches a nine-yard pass, putting Michigan deep into Spartan territory on the Michigan State six-yard line. Two minutes and 23 seconds remaining. 
Two minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the fourth period. Michigan 14, Michigan State 7 remain calm, cool, and collected. You for you, always are impartial, unbiased. You bet you are. Two wide outs, Clayton and Carter. Watch Clayton go in motion. Now they're going to throw to Carter out in the left flat. Watch B-Day roll out. He's going to look for him. He throws it. It's a touchdown. Oh, they shot that play up in practice. That was a trick play. They set up. Don Nalen and Bo Schembechler. God bless their cotton picking hard. They put Clayton in motion from a slot on the left side with Carter. And then when Clayton goes in motion across formation, Carter goes from the slot out into the flat. B.J. rolls out, throws a pass. I told you it was coming, and there it was. And Carter caught it, went into the end zone. And old man Carter, oh, that freshman from down in Florida, he has just picked up his third pass of 1979. And it is his first touchdown against Michigan State. He'll never forget it. Oh, Tony Jackson kneeling. Brian Virgil, go oh, attempt the extra point. It's up, it's end over end. It's good, Michigan 21, Michigan State 7 over this, the very maize and blue, old fielding H. Jost is smiling down. He's a very fine quarterback and wide receiver coach, and it was those key passes here, the bomb to Clayton, the key pass to Mark. That's all there is. There isn't any more. The big Bo Little Darrell confrontation is all over for another year. As Michigan wins their revenge bowl of 1979, the final score again, Michigan 21, Michigan State 7. Victory has a thousand fathers while defeat is an orphan. And believe you me, that Michigan locker room in just a few moments, they're going to go stark raving bananas. It's a day that 22 Michigan arrogant asses put on the gloves of green. And as Richter played the victors, they picked Darrell Rogers clean. And the final score again here in East Lansing this afternoon, Michigan 21, Michigan State 7.